G'day guys. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the progress on the pond construction over which the Mini Railway will run. If you're interested in content about Mini Railways, especially the one that I'm building, please give the video a thumbs up, click on the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. My name's Dutchie. Welcome to the Mill Railway Company. Before we got into the construction of the pond, I had to mark the ground with some spray paint so that Jeffrey knew where to dig when he came back with the excavator. We had to dig a hole for the pump out pipe just so that we wouldn't get any overflows in the pond. Right, now that that digging's over and done with, we have a very interesting looking hole, which we can fill with rocks. So apparently these guys don't just dump everything in the hole like I thought. They put it on your driveway, and you have to move it yourself. Great! Vacuuming the pond is just one of those excuses you give people when you don't want to socialise, isn't it? It's an important job, but it does suck. After digging out the sludge at the bottom of the pond, we filled it with gravel so that we didn't sink down to the knees. While David and Lisa from Sydney Waterscapes laid down the underlay for the pond, I'm off in the corner with a star picket and a hand mallet trying to break up the rock hard ground so that we can dig back a little on a pipe and cap it because it was leaking into the pond area. Just another unforeseen joy when you're building a project of this size. After staring at a mud-filled hole for over six months now, watching Sydney Waterscape start to fill it with rocks was a relief, and it was exciting. Next week, I'll show you a little behind the scenes of where the project's going when it's finally built, and I'll talk to you about how I got to driving the trains. Until then, thanks for watching, see you next week.